Okay, this is bronze and silver preps. Bronze, your, your vault is to squat on and handspring off your vault. Silvers, yours is to handspring over the whole vault. And a lot of the concepts are exactly the same. The bronze preps, are actually, the bronze vault is actually there to prep you for silver. So it should help both of you out, both grades. So the first thing we're gonna practice is handstanding up against the wall with really, really hard feet hitting that wall. Okay. The other thing that we want to happen is that both feet hit the wall together, not one before the other. We don't want to hear duh duh, we want to hear duh as they hit that wall. Nice tight body, and when you hit the handstand, you should be at full stretch of your shoulders. Full stretch! Oh, full stretch, because it should feel, if you handstand with that full stretch, it should feel like you're nearly going to let go of your hands. Let's see if Hattie can do one for us. Kicking up against the wall at full stretch. Hands behind. Oh, that was really good stretching, but you forgot to slam those uh, hit those Ooh. feet against the wall. Yeah. One more try, remembering the stretch and the slam. Let's have a go. Stretch and slam, go. Stretch and slam. Good girl, they didn't quite slam, but she definitely had quite a bit of power and then stopped it. We want to hear those feet hit that wall. Can I try again? Um, you can have another go okay. while I'm talking. So it's really important that we get that right, right from the beginning, that was better. Um, so that we can have a really, really quality good vault. For our next prep for bronze and silvers, we're going to have a go at handspringing off a surface. Now, the higher the surface, the easier it is to do. Um, I haven't got myself a quite high surface. We've got quite a low one. I'm going to help Hattie today. Um, have a go at this. Um, you, use your mattress if you can to land on to keep it nice and safe. Bed to mattress, maybe. Um, or something that you can use at home. If you don't feel safe, don't do this one. What you're going to have a go is kicking up to that handstand just as hard as you did against that wall. And then release those arms. So we're going to compress those shoulders. So we've pulled all the way through. Release and push and end up on our feet off that handspring. Okay, let's see if Hattie can have a go. And see, so come and stand up here, Hattie. Stand up here. Get to a handstand. Hard, hard. That wasn't quite hard enough yet. Keep your head in. Really important to keep your head in and then push and land on her feet. She's going to have another go with much more speed and it will land beautifully the other side. Ready? Stand on. Kick up hard, Hattie. Kick, push, stand. You're brilliant. And again. And again. You can put your hands behind you. Do it again. Put your hands behind you. Stand on, hands behind. Kick up hard. Push. And we land on the other side. Fantastic. If you feel safe enough, have a go at that one at home, especially you silvers who've done it for your grade. Bronzes, if you dare give it a go, please do. It will really, really, really help your vault. Okay, so our next prep is a handstand hop. We do these regularly in the gym. You need to get both legs powerfully up to the top with control, up, power, and then hop on those hands. And the reason for this is this is teaching you the block of the shoulder. So we should be hitting the handstand like this, dropping and pushing to get that, to get that, that jump action. Okay, that is what we're trying to get so that we can push off our hands straight away off the vault. We should only have our hands, especially in a handspring, on that vault for less than a second, on, off. So we want to get practicing this power through our hands um, to be able to achieve that, that fast handspring. Hattie, can we show us a handstand hop? She's going to aim for a nice tight body, arms behind again, because this is our vault prep. And then kicking into that handstand, handstand, hop. Oh, good try. Let me help you just with your legs so your legs are a bit tighter. Up, hop. See that body shape there, Hattie? Tuck that body in. Tuck your tummy in. That's better there. Okay, we've been talking about this shoulder, shoulder shrug and shoulder compressions. And we're going to have a go at strengthening that, them shoulders by practicing handstand compressions against the wall. So Hattie's going to kick up against the wall. She's going to have her shoulders pulled completely out. While she's in that handstand, we're going to drop those shoulders and pull those shoulders back up and drop those shoulders and pull those shoulders back up. And we're going to try 10 of them. And that strength will help us with our handspring, handspring off or handspring over. So Hattie, you're going to kick up. She's never done these before. Kick up against the hands. Put your hands here so you just get used to it. Kick up against the wall this way. Good. Kick up. Good. Now we're going to get a bit closer to the wall this time. Now, are you pulled all the way through your shoulders? Now relaxing down a bit, and then back up, and then back down, and then back up. Don't bend those arms, don't bend them back. It's only your shoulders. So no bending of the elbows, that is cheating. Arms up, push through, like this. 
Okay, and that's what we'll be practicing, 10 of them. Hello, please. for this one we've gone outside. You don't have to, but we would like to use the trampoline to try and explain this one, just so that if you haven't got something soft to land on, you might have a trampoline at home. If not, carry on with a mattress or, or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and use the trampoline to get to a handstand. And then Hattie's going to try and land on her back, but looking at her feet. The reason for this is lots of you try and handspring and think it's really important to, to look back. But by looking back in our handspring means that our feet tuck under us and we end up on our knees when we've finished the handspring. What we actually want to do is kick up to the handstand, look at our feet, and then it helps us to land in that lovely dish shape. So Hattie's going to show us. Are you ready in that handstand, Hattie? Let me just turn my screen around so you can see. Can I turn up that wall? Hit the handstand, tight body, pulled out shoulders, let the legs go and try and land looking at our Hattie feet. Hattie slightly landed on her bottom first. We want to see if you can get your whole body landing on that trampoline, uh, trampoline um, at once. Have a go.